Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 5th of November. The local media headlines today. Will we find out the future of Newquay Airport today? Well, we should do, but don't hold your breath. Official Cornwall Council reports, which have the potential to cause political embarrassment, have also developed the habit of remaining unpublished until it's too late to do anything about them. Project Corduroy is the one we're all looking out for. It's taken three years and more than a million pounds to write this document, so it had better be worth it. It could even swing opinion at Thursday's full council meeting to consider a vote of confidence in the leader. You'll have until Friday to ask questions about it if you ever get to see it. The BBC has been looking at a new system for booking time slots at Cornwall's household waste recycling centres. It's to avoid long queues of traffic as people try to get rid of their rubbish. Newquay, Saltash and St Earth have all been the guinea pigs. The booking scheme seems popular, but you do have to be online to make use of it. Greatest Hits Radio had a story about how bats are settling in to their purpose-built new home near the A30 at Chiverton. It's one of the environmental improvements intended to offset disruption to wildlife caused by the new road. The Falmouth Packet says a cafe on the Lizard is the best in Cornwall. The Cornish Times is following the progress of Truro City's footballers. And finally, Cornwall Live had a list of places where you can go for a walk. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.